Welcome back for another great episode. This is our second video, and we are going to make a nice plate. I make all kinds of plates, but this is the plate I'm going to make today. <clears throat> I do name displays also. Name displays are on the tile, which I will show you in the thing. Here's one that isn't made that I also do that we might can do in an upcoming video. It's the tile. And today we're going to put a name on it. But first I'm going to show you how to use this. So here it is. We get our paint. And we get our paint. And we put it in a little cup. And then we get our paintbrush. And we paint. Depending on painting. And then we have this. We put about four coats on it. I put four. Took me two days to get it this nice red. And then we can cut mine. I'll make it three four. And I'll be right back. Um while you cut this. Mm -hmm. And it's at ten. And it is so cut. And you see that it's cutting out. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, it cut out my name and Samuel I know Samuel Ward is wondering why I didn't bring my dog down here. I'll tell him right now that I'm sorry, but I can't really right now. And if you can see that indention I made, this black, you can barely see it, this black piece of vinyl, it's two foot, the biggest thing you can use. And I've made a lot of different things, a lot, a lot, a lot, this little piece. <clears throat> I do my little business. I have this one sheet. I mean, I can make Tanner a little bit bigger. And another quality I love about the Cricut is load last. It'll go exactly to where I went. has happened to our cricket. I've never had it happen to me like this before, so this is a learning example. Let me just turn it back on. Unloading all the paper like it does every time. So this is normal. And it's ready. Okay. Load paper. Loading the paper. Okay, and we have it just like that. And I'll zoom in for you. I'll press in T A N N E R. And I made it up. And it's ready. And we can press cut. And it's cutting. This is the cricket in action. I love watching the cricket. Um, I know some of you like these videos. And I'm trying to do one once a week. So just leave your comments. If you want me to do something in particular, um, I will do it. As long as I have the cartridge, I have Animal Kingdom, Doodle Charm, Home Accent, Paper Dolls, um, in the back row, um, Fonts, Storybook, and one last one, Designer's Calendar. So if you want to see a calendar being designed, I will do that. Just send me a message, um, and I'll do it. So it's cut out Tanner. 
see if that's a little bit bigger for this project. And I think it might be. So let's put our thing right there. I think it might just be perfect. Maybe. Might be a little too big, but that that's good. And here's T. I will put T. And no, I do not use the transfer paper. I don't really believe it. Sorry, if you all believe in it, and I don't. And you want to peel it off if you do something wrong. And just put it back on now. T. We have A. And I wish I had a cartridge that did lower caps and cap. But I'm just so thankful for what my mom has got me. And I have bought some stuff. So here's how it's coming. B A. Let's get out in. And I make mistakes while I'm using this on the video, but nobody is going to do this right. So, I'm acting like a normal person, just showing you how it is and how to use it. And sometimes I pers pers purposely do my letters crooked, just to make it look different. So like, first in. Looks weird. And I might do the E that way. I like when my letter isn't, letters aren't straight. I think they look pretty good. And, and if I wanted to, I could put my last name. And I don't really seem like I'm going to, but you also could. But the only thing you need to make sure, is having a friend. And you can put anything up on here. So here is the finished product. See how the first end and the E is crooked? So that's how it is. And that only was a few minutes and I would like you to leave your comments all your um, comments and questions and what you want me to do because I will do anything and one last part I forgot to talk about was the pup cartridge I have it also it doesn't fit in my jukebox if you have questions about the jukebox and I also have the your story machine if you have any questions about the your story I haven't really got to use it yet, but this is my second video, so we'll get to use it later. And I thought you might have some questions about organization. So this is how I stay organized. I have my paper right over here. Right over here. I have my utensils in this little cup. Cup. And this bucket back here. I have some cardstock up here with my X. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then I have my big two foot paper up here. So that's right there is not a big deal. And here I've got some new vinyl. And we'll be using it some. And that's today's episode. And remember, stay crafty. And one last thing. Let's go back over to the Cricut. I would like to say thank you to everybody that has become um, a fan and invite all your friends, invite people that's not your friend. Just like to thank everybody and tune back.